welcome back to the Digital Art Club, everyone. So today's lesson, uh, sorry, change this. Okay, today's lesson is line art. And so this is what your line art should look like after this class, or if you don't finish, finish it at home. So as always, reminders, make sure to prepare mobile device. Well, of course, I think everyone has it already. So, and also make sure you to always be on time and I will start without you if you're late. So I think one person isn't here, but it's all right, okay. Uh, oh yeah, two people are here, Joanna just joined. Okay, welcome Joanna. And then another person hasn't joined yet, but it's all right. Okay, if you missed anything that I have said, and then please watch the video that I will post in the Google Classroom. So today I will do things a little differently. So instead of asking questions right after I finish a step, just wait because um, you, I will record a video and then I will post it in the Google Classroom. So let me show you where it is. So the Google Classroom, so today is lesson three, it's right here. There, I will post the video over here. And so if you don't finish, you can watch the video again to see what steps there are, and then you can follow it. Okay. okay. That's Mia. No, who's Lisa? Uh, oh yeah, Lisa, I think you're joining. Felix is in here. It's all right. Okay. <clears throat> so I want everybody to get out their device. Now let me stop sharing. So Lisa, if you have any questions, just raise your hand at the end of class. Um, a little late. Yeah, it's, it's all right. All right. Okay, so get out your device. Okay. Now open it, okay, and then please locate the Ibis Paint X Paint, uh, app, like always, and then open the gallery. And now locate where what um, what we did last time. So it's the a sketch. Open the sketch. So here on the very top right, you should see the edit button. It's on the top. Select it, and then now you can open your canvas. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so today we will start with line art. So everybody select the pen, um, the brush window. And now we don't need to watch the ads today because we're only going to use the dip pen brush. So just select it if you haven't already. Okay, now... Make sure the color is black. And then make sure your brush size is about one point something pixels. So it's very Yes. I don't have the picture I had last time. The thing I did last time. Did you save a picture? I, I don't. I think so. Try to find the picture in your camera roll. And then you can upload a picture onto here. I'll show you after you find it. Okay, so moving on, Joanna, if you find it, just um, unmute and tell me. So moving on, press this button, the layer window, and then add a new layer. So um, for the next few classes, I when I said add a layer, everybody should know to go to the layer window and then press the plus sign and then press add layer. Okay, so you should have another layer now. Okay, and then go back to the first layer. So select the first layer. Select the first layer. Now use the opacity and then you have to make it about 60%. So there's a percent sign right here. There's a percent sign right here and make sure when you move this, Make sure this says 60% or 60 something percent. It's okay if it's not exactly right. All right, now you have the first layer. Now select the second layer again. Make sure you select the second layer. Then go back to your canvas. 
So everybody should be here. Joanna, are you all right? I can't really see you. All right. Um, okay, let's move on. So everybody, we're gonna draw the jaw and the chin first. So just like we did last time, except this time, your line shouldn't be that um, messy like this. It shouldn't be like that. It should be one exact line like that. Okay, so start on the chin and then go up. And then just like, like we practiced on the first day, flick. And then if your line is too, if it's too short, then you, then you have to um, extend the line. So make sure that it looks smooth and like it looks like it's one, one line. Okay, and then um, the goal for everybody today is to do half of the face. So for I want everybody to try to draw um, the other half of the chin. But for the shoulders and the eyes, you can draw half of it. And then after class, draw the other half. And then you can follow the video if you forget like how to draw it. So you see this line is a little off. You have to go back. So try to make it as symmetrical as possible, but it's all right if it's not symmetrical. All right, now I'm done. I'll give you guys little time to do it because it's kind of hard to make it all symmetrical. Joanna, are you there? Yeah, um, I tell my, um, I, my dad a little iPad, but we can't, he's busy using them right now, so I'm just gonna watch the video. I think okay, yeah, I the video. yeah, just so, listen, just listen for this class, and then once you get your iPad, um, just try to follow along. Okay. Yeah. And then if you have any more questions in the Google Classroom, find the post where it says, if you have any questions, um, type in the comments. Just type your question in there. Okay, Felix just joined. Uh, sorry. Okay, anyways, Joanna, just type your question there. Or you can, if you have any questions, like, for this class, if you, like, want me to do something again or anything like this applies to everybody you can just ask me at the end of class okay yeah okay felix um so i want you to open the app and then um felix i don't know if you're there or not um, so yeah. I want, all right i want you to open the app and so do you have your sketch yes all right, good. So open the app, and then do you know how to edit your canvas? No. All right, so if you're, you're at the gallery, open up to your gallery. And then press on your canvas, your sketch. You should only have one canvas, unless you drew something else. Um, you open the sketch, and then up here, there's an edit button where I'm pointing at. You can't really see on the camera, but you should... You should be able to locate it. Um, there's it says edit. Now press on that those that word, and then you should be able to open your canvas. So, do you have your canvas open now? Mm. All right. Has everybody? else um drawn the jaw and the chin just give a thumbs up well <clears throat> yes yeah, seven that's good oh seven is it on the second layer Like, make sure you have two layers, and then the black line is on the second layer. 
So basically you separate the black line and the blue line is what we're doing right now. So make sure you, you're doing that. And then if you did that, then give a thumbs up. All right, good job, Lisa. You're, you're the fastest. Good job. Okay, Felix, have you opened up your canvas with yeah. your sketch on? All right, now go to go to the layers window right here. Okay. Open the layer window. Okay, now press this plus sign right here to add another layer. Yeah, now go to the first layer and then use this slider and then make it so that there it this number says 61% or 60%. That's for the first layer. Do it on the first layer. Let layer. And then after you've done that, go back to the Instead second of layer. 61, it's too hard. I can only do 60 or 60. No, no, it doesn't have to be exact. Just around 60 or 61. 63 is also fine. It doesn't matter. Just around this number. After you've done that, go to the layer number two. You have to press layer number two and then go back. And now I want you to follow the, the blue line. So we're going to draw the chin and the jaw first. So just as you did with the sketch, um, but don't make it messy, just one line, one single line. Make sure it's just one single line, don't layer it. And make sure your pen is black and then it's a hard pen. I'm sure that's the default. And then your brush size should be small. It should be I around. The hmm? I haven't watched the ad yet. No, no, you don't have to watch the ad right now. Cause it, this one is already free. Okay. All right. So um, after you've done that, everybody else, we're gonna draw the neck now. So watch me. Um, so the neck is just follow along with your lines and then see if you need to correct your lines. So my neck is kind of tilted a little bit. So I want to correct it. So I'm gonna go off what I drew last lesson. And then I'm gonna draw parallel lines. If it's not right, do it again. Make sure it's one exact line, just one line. If it's too short, then extend it, but make sure it looks like it's one line. See, I've done it multiple times because sometimes it looks a little off and then I have to go back and then do it again. So I don't want to erase these lines because it's connected to the jawline, that line, and it's kind of hard to erase it. So I have to go back and do both of these all over again just so that I don't erase the other line because it's kind of a hassle to go back and then you have to fill it in. So this is what it should look like. So Felix, are you done with the jawline? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, good job. Now do the neck. And Stefan, that's very nice. You're very fast. And then everybody else, if you're done, give a thumbs up. Karis, good job. And then, uh, let me see. Okay, so I'm gonna move on right now. And then it's all right if you're not done. Just do one side. If you aren't done, just do one line. So you can do the other side later. So the shoulders will be the same concept, 
except you have to ignore these lines and then only use this shoulder line right here. So go along with the shoulder line. This You probably have to connect two lines to make the shoulder line because it's a little long. So draw one line over here and then you have to connect another line here. This part is a little tricky. So if, if you can't do this all in one fell swoop, then just connect multiple lines. So this can take a little time. Then just... Ugh. So you see here, it's a little not too straight and it there's this straight line. So just go in with your eraser and try to chip away at this line to make it smooth. And smoothen it out with that line. So if you zoom out and then doesn't really look too noticeable, then it's all right. Now here, I want everybody to erase this right here if your neckline is a bit too long. And then if you erase too much, you have to go back. That's why I don't like to erase a lot for line art, because you have to go back in and fill it up again. So do the exact same thing on the other side. So a portrait, when it's facing you, like exactly facing you, then it has to be somewhat symmetrical. Same concept, connect the lines and then go back and see if it's symmetrical or not. This is a little too short. Um, and then shoulders should be nice and smooth. They're like really curved down. And here you have to connect it. That's our connect lines. That's not very noticeable, so it's all right. Then erase this line right here. And then this is part, this part, as you can see, is a little thinner than the other parts. So, um, right here. All right, and then as like before, you have to erase this and be careful right here. Okay, and then this is what it should look like. Two solid lines, and then you should follow the blue lines. That's why we have a sketch to make it easier for you to do the line art. So. The shoulders are the second hardest part of the line art. The hair is the hardest. It's, it's really hard to draw the strands and then make it look um, not too even and not too scrunched up together. It has to look natural, basically. Okay, so Stephen, Stefan, I'm sorry. Um, uh, yeah, I can't see, sorry. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, good job, Stefan. You're super duper fast. Okay, everybody else, if you're done and you have a cameras on, you can show it up like Stefan does. And okay, Karis, yeah, if you don't have your cameras on, give a thumbs up, Karis. Good job, Lisa. Yeah, good job, Lisa. Okay, is anybody else? Finish. Um, okay. Oh, the table is shaking. Okay. All right, now let's move on. We're going to do the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Okay, so we're going to do the nose and the mouth first. So we're going to do the nose now. Now, like this line right here. It's gonna be the same thing. 
Now make it small. And then you can do like, the nose can be different. Like you can do just this one line or you can add another line here, but make sure it's small. Like that, you can do that or you can do this. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, so the nose is really, really simple. So now I'm gonna show you how to draw the mouth. Mouth, since it's gonna be a slight smile, so don't make it too curved like that. That that just doesn't look very natural. So anime mouse, like this is very common. There's this little gap here right here. So make sure you're flip flicking, not just dragging your finger. Make sure you just flick your finger. And then make sure the line is super soft. And then it's like when you flick, the pressure doesn't make the line too thick and too dark. So this is what the nose and the mouth should look like. So if you sew on the shoulders, I'll show you how this. Here. Okay, and we'll move on to the eyes in a moment. All right, if you're done, give a thumbs up. Good job, Stefan. Okay, and then is everybody else done? Karis, good job. And I'm assuming Austin's done. Okay, so now we will move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, everybody can try to draw one eye first and then draw the other eye because drawing two eyes is actually kind of hard drawing making them um symmetrical is really hard so that's why i had everybody draw two circles that looked similar so now we're gonna draw the right eye first let me show everybody how to draw the right eye so there are basically two no, three basic parts so the top part the top lashes the bottom lashes and the pupil so we're gonna draw the top part first so it's a curve so there's usually there's this one line right here and it doesn't have to be exactly curved right here it can be a little pointed a little bit don't make it too pointed don't do this that that's doesn't look very nice and then drag it downwards right here okay and then okay so it's a little off okay so, okay that looks fine and i think this part is a little long just shave it down a little bit okay now that's fine okay now the top part i'm not finished so for the top part there's this bold part sorry okay there's this bold part so draw a triangle like thing right here so this like usually actual real life humans don't have this but in anime it's quite common especially for shoujo anime so i usually draw this right here so it's just it's just a little bold part and then you can make the top brow thicker. Okay, so that's what it should look like. You're too fast. Oh, I'm sorry. So basically, draw a curve like this. Draw a curve and then draw a triangle-like 
shape here. And then thicken the line and then fill in the triangle. Okay, I'll wait for everyone. Yes, good job, Stefan. It's kind of hard to fix it, but it's all right. So this, and then you have to draw the next. So I'm gonna draw the next one just to show everyone again. So same thing here, but it's this part will be over here. So it's reflected across. So draw another circle again. I mean, not a circle. Draw another curve and see if it's symmetrical. Okay, is about right. And then go in with the triangle right here. Uh, and you have to always zoom out and see if it's symmetrical. If it's symmetrical, then go back in and then move on, fill in the triangle. Okay. All right, now make the lines darker, so make it thicker. And then, uh, add this phrase as well. All right, there we go. So it's not exactly symmetrical. Um, just to make it so that it looks more symmetrical. Okay. Yeah, it's not exactly but it's okay. So it should look like this. So, Stefan, you're really fast. Like, super fast. Yeah, good job, Stefan. Right, is anybody else done? Uh, Karis, good job. You are super duper fast. When I learned it, it was like super slow. So if it's all right if you're slower. And just... Make sure you just get one eye down first, All right? So I'm gonna move on. You will see the top part as I draw the bottom. So the bottom is just another curve. So it's another curve, but it's slightly smaller than the top curve. Make sure it's in the middle and it's smaller. And that's basically the bottom one. So it's very simple. If you already have this, side and then go ahead and do it. I'm going to draw it real quick. So right here, try to make it as symmetrical as possible or as best as you can. Alright. Okay, I Zoom is running out of time again, which is not ideal, but it's alright. So everybody, since Zoom um, has a 40 minute time limit like we did last time just join again so I can tell you how to draw the hair and the hair is the hardest part so I saved it for last all right seven good job good job I saw that and that's very nice and if everybody else if you're done as usual thumbs up okay so Okay, everybody take a little time to try to draw and finish the top part of the eye and the bottom part. And then I'll show you how to draw the pupils. Okay, while we're waiting, I'm gonna talk about how I got into digital art. So, I got into the digital art like last year, I think, in the summer. So um, what I did was I just went online and onto YouTube and then I just Googled some tutorials. Since I already knew what Ibis Paint was, I just downloaded it because it was free. 
and then you can access all of the brushes by only just watching an ad. So it was very convenient. So I just, since um, Ibis Paint X has their own like um, art, like tutorial channel, you just had to go there and then you can watch a video and then you can follow along with the lady in the video. And it's very simple. There are also captions and everything. So in your free time, if you want to practice, you can go to YouTube, search up Ibis Paint X, and then search up tutorials. And then if you want to draw another portrait, just search up, um, after the tutorials, just search up portrait. And then you can just watch a video and then follow. So um, has everybody else finished? Hmm. Okay, we're going to run out of time. So I will move on now. So just try to draw one eye. Okay, now. Very hard to do it symmetrical, like. Yeah, yeah. That's why I told you all to draw one eye. Just draw. Try to just finish one eye, and then same thing with the hair. Just finish one side of the hair, and then do the other side and try to make it as symmetrical as possible. Since I've had previous art experiences, I could kind of draw it more symmetrical, but it's alright if you haven't. So here is the pupil. So now. The people, like, just watch closely. I don't know how to explain this. This, and then make it not too solid lines. So, um, here, I can't draw this. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. Now, make it a little squigglier so the pupils are softer. And then, right here, draw an extra line. So it looks like this. So when you're coloring it, I'm going to have everybody color it a certain color, and then we're going to use the blur tool and blur it. That way, the eye is very soft, and it looks nice. So make sure there are little spaces, not too big, um, not too close together. And then the bottom lines are a little more squiggly or don't make them too squiggly like this. Make them like kind of subtle, like this, or like this, something like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side now. So it doesn't have, this, this part doesn't have to be symmetrical. You can make it less symmetrical right here. All right, that's the eyes. So we have five minutes left. And so I will have to um, restart the meeting again when the Zoom kicks everybody out. So once you're done, thumbs up or show it to me. Let me enlarge it. And if you have any questions, okay, good job, Karis. I just saw you. <laughs> uh, Stefan, what's up? Hi. All right, so you have the bottom line. I can't really see. So I have the bottom line here, and so you only draw you only drew like one side, and then you have to draw the other side. So it's, it's basically the same thing, but it's just the bottom is cur is a little wigglier, and then the top is straighter, and then. There are these little dots. That's just a little optional. It makes it look a little more divided. Not, not divided. Okay. It makes it more soft. Yeah. Okay, Stefan. Um, yours is too small. Yours is like 
like this. Like, um, I want you to make it so that this part is very close to the top, and this part is very close to the bottom. So, basically what this thing is, it's literally a circle, except it's just softer. It's just broken apart. So make sure it's like a circle, basically. If you don't want to draw like this, then draw a circle right here. But make sure it touches the top and then touches the bottom. So it's not really a circle, it's an oval. And it's more stretched this way. But I'm not going to do that because it's a little too solid. But if you want to, you can. Because digital art, the style is very different from each artist to artist. So you can decide for yourself if you want to do a circle or uh, an oval and draw an oval. If you want to draw like my style and draw like my style. Okay, so for the next minute, because after this minute, it's going to kick everybody out. So I'm just going to let everybody catch up a little bit. And then once I restart the meeting again, um, I'll just draw the hair for everybody. And so once I'm done with the hair, um, I won't wait for everybody. Um, I'll just tell you all what to do for homework. And then you can finish the hair after class. Um, but I'll, I'll stay in the meeting. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. Sorry. All right, good job. Right. Also, one more thing, we won't be drawing the eyebrows right now because I'm not sure if everybody's caught up yet. So we won't be drawing the eyebrow. Sorry about that. Um. Okay. Stefan, you have a stylus, right? Yeah, just use a stylus. Yeah. If you have a stylus, record again. Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to start drawing the hair now. So this, we're gonna draw the hair. There are three parts. Okay. So, first part is the bangs. So I don't have any bangs, like real life. I don't have any bangs because my bangs, I grew them out. Okay. But um, in anime, most most girls they usually have bangs, and then it depends on the style. So I, I'm gonna draw some bangs, and then the second part are the side. Hair. So they're kind of connected to the bangs, and then there are just these strands of hair that covers this side of his face, uh, both sides of his face, actually. So as usual, it's symmetrical. And then it's the back part of the hair. So um, the back part includes the top of the head down to where the hair ends. So this time we're going to draw a short hair. And so that's how we're going to do it. And now I want everybody to add a new layer because we don't want to mess up what we just did. So I'm going to show you how to add again. So just press the plus sign. So next time, make sure to know how to add a layer. Now select the third layer. Okay. And now we're going to start drawing. So right where the eye ends, so they're going to, I'm going to draw both. Like. I'm gonna draw one line here. So, uh, what is pain eraser? Okay, so draw one line here. 
Um, also, uh, what uh, can, can I just want to ask you? What did you say? What did you want to say? Like when the um, oh, yeah. when the meeting cut off. Okay, so if you have if you have a stylus, then just use it. So it's really a hassle to use your fingers. So if you have a stylus, let me just show you. You just draw normally like you. And if you have a stylus, the pressure is like better and you can draw better. So if you have a stylus, that's really nice. And then it's much easier to draw and it's way faster. So yeah, I'm not gonna use a stylus because most of us, I don't think most, most of us don't have a stylus. So I will draw with my finger. Yeah, good job. Good job, guys, with a stylus. I really like using stylus. I don't like using my finger. Okay, so I just draw two lines. Um, this is a little far apart, but it's all right. It doesn't matter. So after you draw these two lines, in the middle, right here, your middle line, draw um, a pretty parallel line right here. Make sure it's a little longer than this line. And then... Draw it curved um, facing this way. So the curve. Oh, Joanna joined. Okay. So, Joanna, yeah, we're just drawing the hair right now. And so I know you don't have your iPad with you. So just watch the video. And I have started a new recording that I will upload along with the first recording. Okay. So now, um, do the same thing. Julia? Yeah? I found the photo on my dad's phone, but, uh -huh. um, yeah, I don't know how oh, to... I'll show you how to upload it onto yours. Okay. After I draw the hair, stick okay. around after class, and then I'll show you how to upload a photo. If anybody else wants to know how to upload a photo, um, then just stay after class, or if you have another question, stay after class. Like, if you're curious about other tools, like these tools up here, I can stay after class. I'm, I'm completely free. So, okay, back to our lesson. Here, we have to draw another line. Same thing. Um, make sure it's kind of symmetrical. Does it have that B? Okay, this is a little longer. It's A-OK. -okay. It's all right. Okay, so make sure it's like this. It looks a little kind of weird, but after you fill this all in with the hair strands, it's gonna look much better. So do this real quick. Does it have to ex be exactly like? Yeah, not exact. Like, don't make everything exact. Like, um, just make sure it looks similar, basically, just opposite. You know, like reflected a little bit. So you see, mine isn't that exact. This is bigger, and this is smaller. But that's all right. Since it's hair, um, if it's too symmetrical, it kind of looks not very natural. All right, seven, that's nice, but um, next time, try to flick more. Try to do this more. Okay, don't, don't draw what I just drew. And seven, your lines are a little too hard, but that's all right, because I know you, I don't think you have any other um, experience, but it's all right. So, yeah, Lisa, that's good. So make sure this line, make it a little longer. Make it up more. And then along with this line, make it a little longer. And don't be scared to get close to the eye because we're on a different layer. If you e try to erase it, it won't erase. So the, the other lines on the other layer, you cannot erase it when you have selected the, the another layer. So it's kind of hard to understand, but this is what the layers do. It just separates everything so you won't be messing up another layer. So I'm gonna move on now. So here, this is how you draw a strand of hair. So you have to make a little triangle like thing here. So if it intersects, just you go in with an eraser and erase it. Okay, and then make it like mm, it can be it can vary in size and length since it's hair so just try to mm, this is like a basic hair strand so 
So they just come together at one point and then they're usually it's kind of like a zigzag except it's like curved. And so you have to go in each and every strand of hair, you have to draw in one stroke. Then if one line doesn't look correct, you have to go back or you can erase it. It's up to you. Now I finish the side. This part looks a little weird, so I'm going to fix it. Yeah. It's all right if I leave it like that. This is all right. Now do the same thing to the other side. All right. Now it's all right if you go and then it overlaps with the eye. It's all, that's all right. It's very okay. So make sure the strands of hair, it's not like super tiny like this. Don't make it too tiny. Like what I'm drawing is very long strokes. So, so far I haven't had any intersections. But if you do, go ahead and erase the intersections. It's right here. It looks a little too long. So just erase it and do the same thing. So the bangs are a little too short on the sides. So go back in and then you have to, if yours looks short, too short. So you have to judge for yourself. Um, okay. You have to judge for yourself if it's too short, too long, um, if it looks odd or just not right to you. You have to go back and then try to fix it. If you think it's all right, then you can leave it there. Okay. Now, that's basically what the bangs should look like. So my current style isn't very like, oh, it's a little blurry. And my current style isn't like this, but this is like the most basic style. And then since everybody's style might be different, um, I will teach everybody the very basic style first. And then you can go on and then try to experiment with other styles. And then you can incorporate realism or cartoon. And then it, you can just play around with it. All right, so I'm sure this will take a long time. So I will move on to the side. Okay, Stefan. Good job, Stefan. It's a little wonky, but it's all right for your first time. So um, as long as the, the lines connect. And then since hair and it's not it's not like some people's hair can be messy, some people's hair can be super straight. And mine my actual hair is like super messy. It's all right. Um okay, so okay, Joanna. Um when's um when can you help me exactly? Oh, yeah, I can help you right now <laughs> because everybody else is like, so go back to the gallery. So I'm, I have to shoot, like, I'll tell you what to do. So get your uh, iPad out. On the place I want to make it go or on. Do you have, like, is the picture in your dad's phone? A what? Like, do you have the picture on your iPad? I have a picture on my, I have it on my, on an iPhone. But I, I want to make go. Make it go to Okay, so to do that, you have to go to your camera roll. So go to your pictures or your camera roll and then yeah. click on click on the sketch picture, open it up, and then there should be a share button. Do you know what the share button looks like? No. It's like an arrow. There's an up arrow with the little box thing. 
it's it's I think it's on the top. No, it should be on your dad your phone. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, yeah. Okay, and then sure. so they're on the on the top, there's this so it looks like this. Let me show you. It looks like this. this is, um... Yeah, yeah, oh, that, that, that one. Yeah, that one. yeah, yeah, that one. And then okay, and then do you see airdrop? Um, I don't know mm. what it looks like. It should say airdrop. It's blue, and then it has a white background. This is what it looks like. Um, has... Yeah, yeah, the, the very first, like, you do you see the contact stuff with the messages? On, like, below that, there should be something oh, yeah, called airdrop. airdrop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now open up your iPad. Open up your iPad. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, it should be open, like, unlock it. Yeah. Okay, now, um, after you unlock it, um, okay, and then go back to your phone. Don't close your iPad. Go back mm -hmm. to your phone, and then, um, uh, once you open AirDrop, so you have Just to press people. AirDrop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, people. So, um, your iPad, I think mm -hmm. name, it should be iPad, and then it should send it to your iPad immediately. Except, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you have to accept it on your iPad, and then it sends it right to your camera roll, and it okay. should be there. Then how do yeah, you now, draw from it? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, draw. Show, I'll, I'll tell you how to do that. So, to draw, you have to go open up Ibis Paint X. Mm-hmm. And then go to the gallery. Yeah. Where, yeah. Okay, now press the plus sign. Mm-hmm. Now press on the very, very top of... Oh. The window, it should be there's a Import camera. Thing. Yeah, yeah, that thing. And then press on that. Select photos allow access to all photos, don't allow. Uh, allow access to all photos. And then it should pop up all of the pictures in your camera roll. And then you have to select um the sketch picture that you just imported into your uh okay. your iPad. And then just Act select it. Extract line drawing the no, no, don't press cancel. Going. It will make it black and white. So press you cancel. Okay. okay. Thanks. Yeah, you got it now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it should be your very first layer now. Okay. So you can watch the video again now. We're going to go back to our lesson. So. Hmm. All right. Sorry, everyone. Okay. Now let's do the side hair. So just watch. It's the same concept. It just has to be longer. And as you can see, it overlaps the jaw layer. So after you draw the side of the hair, you have to go to the second layer and then erase it. Um, okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, now that's one side. Oh, sorry. That's one side. And then you have to go and draw the other side. Okay, as you can see, this one is not symmetrical at all. This part of the hair is not symmetrical. If you want to make it symmetrical, then go ahead. But I don't. It doesn't really matter if it's symmetrical or not right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then extend it, extend it up, okay, like that. As you can see, it's not symmetrical at all, but that's okay. So now, as you can see, so just, they're just, usually I just draw two strands of hair right here for the sides. So do basically the same thing you did with the bangs, except make it longer, make sure like, um, it extends either to the mouth or past the mouth. So now I'm going to show you how to erase this. Just go back to your second layer and then select the eraser and then erase the line that overlaps. And then make sure you don't erase too much. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Like this. Now you erase it. Make sure this is okay. Make sure. You go back to the third layer to draw the hair. That is very important. So, one thing that 
um, like a big mistake that some an artist, digital artist, might make is that they might draw on the uh the wrong the wrong layer. So I, that has happened to me before, and I got super annoyed. And you have to go back, and then you have to spam this. You have to go back all over, and you have to draw everything all over again, which is super annoying. So make sure you draw on the right layer. All right. Okay, so as you're doing that, I will talk about the hair because we're already past time, like way past time. So I'm going to start drawing the top. So um, where your, your, the circle, the top of the circle you know, starts, you see this middle line is to start here. And then since there's already a split here, I'm going to make it like one of those, you know, those apple hairstyles, like when you split your hair in the middle and then it's kind of like, it's, it's like this, it's like that, it's like that, ignore that line. So it's a little curved, and then just extend this line over here. And then extend it all the way down past the side part of the hair. And then, so it's already, if it's a little, it's a little not too, um, Smooth, but it's all right because this line is super long and then do the same thing on the other side so right here so the goal oh my god <laughs> okay go back do it again uh, this is basically what digital art is all about. You draw something, it doesn't look nice, do it again. And then just over and over again, repeats. And that's basically how you do it. It's quite simple, actually. Just kind of annoying sometimes. Okay, now I have to extend that a little bit more. And that should be all right. It's not symmetrical like always. Nothing is perfect. It's all right. Can you make so, it out a little so we can see the whole picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for you, draw the chin and the jaw first, then draw the neck, then go down and draw the shoulders. After you're done with the shoulders, draw the nose and the mouth, and then draw the eyes. After you're done with the eyes, draw the bangs, the side part, and then, okay, let me finish first, okay? Let me finish, and then um, I'll put it here. So... For the back part, there's one last thing. It's to make it, like, connect it to the neck. So, since we're already past time, I'm going to show you this real quick. So, like the bangs, except this part is a little shorter than the bangs. And then it's kind of, it's actually thicker. It's a little thicker than the bangs. Can you open it up a little? No, 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 hold on. Let me just draw this first. Sorry about that. I have to finish this because we're over time. I'm sorry that I'm turning this paper a lot. Like this canvas. So it's easier, like in some angles, you have to draw like that, and in other angles. So this is basically the ending. Um, what's it called? Um, what it should look like for the line art. But there's one last thing. But I will let Joanna try to do it while everybody else catches up. So I'm gonna let you all wait another two minutes. And then, so while waiting, I will tell you about the homework. So the homework, as usual, this time I won't have an assignment for reviewing because there's really not much to review except going over the video. So um, just watch the video um, because you might forget everything. And at the end of this course, um, I will have everybody draw a brand new piece of work. I know this might seem like it takes a long time, but 
on average, um, for sketching, I only take about one to two minutes to sketch, like the blue lines. Well, it takes me one to two minutes to sketch. And then the line art, I, right now, my style, like the line art, I don't really do much line art. So it just takes like five minutes. And then the most of the time I take to render, which is coloring the line, the my portrait or whatever I'm drawing. And so at the very end of class, I will give you, you guys four days. And then if you finish earlier than that, that's great. And then we might watch an anime movie or something to just show you what anime is about. Because I'm sure most of y'all Wait, do we have to finish? Haven't heard of it. We have to finish the best this... of ourselves. Yeah, so I will post the video, like, once it's done uploading, I will post it. And so you have to finish the rest by yourself. So I will stay oh. here. I'm going to stay here. And wait. If you, So if you have any questions, if you don't want to wait and you want to just work on it by yourself, or just work on it, like, later in the week, but make sure to finish it before next class because we will start coloring. So you have to make sure you finish it. Wait, so I'm going to show you how to get rid of the blue lines. So go to the layer window again. Select the line with the sketch on it. So that's the very first one. So I showed you guys how to do this the first class. Press the I button right here. And now it turns off the blue lines. And then go back up to your third layer. And then it should look like this. Um. Yes, Jonah. Nothing? All right. Well, there's one last thing I need to tell you all about, but I'll just wait here a little bit. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. Joanna? I'm not raising my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, like, if you're, if you want to leave, you can leave. Oh, but hold can on. you do it again? How do you um, erase the blue lines again? Okay, so open up your layer window. Go to your first layer. Or you don't have to even press the first layer. Just press this button. This, the eye. It looks like an eyeball. And then just press on it. And it just erases it. Like, it just makes it not visible at all. So that's how you do it. And now, I want to show everybody one last thing. I promise this is the last thing. Sorry, this is taking a really long time. So go back. Uh, yeah, go back to your layer. Now, right here, this button with the arrow going down with two lines, and then it's right above the trash can. Make sure you don't press the trash can. And then make sure you select it the third layer. Now press this button. Basically, it merges the third layer and the second layer together. So that button is called merge layer down. It just merges the layer down. So the purpose of this is to make the line art all in one layer. So I want every, since mine is a little too small, like the person, the line is a little too small. I drew it too small. I want to enlarge it. So up here at the very top where I'm pointing at, um, is a transform button. Press it and then make it bigger. Take this and then you're gonna move it downwards a little. Make sure it fills up most of the space and press the check mark. And then that's how you move it and expand. So our lesson will end right and now. And if you want to leave, um, Thank you for coming. Um, if you want to stay after, um, like after class, then feel free to do so. And if if you have any questions, just unmute and ask me. So thank you guys for coming, and I'll see you next class. And make sure to do your homework. Okay, stay safe, guys. Okay. Whoa. Stop it. What the heck? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs>